Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Cherise and on this channel, I usually do makeup reviews and swatches, especially lip swatches so you can see how it looks like on and how it performs throughout the day before purchasing them. So on today's video, we are going to do a review and swatches of the new Dior Transfer Proof Lipsticks. These are the first transfer proof bullet lipsticks from Dior. I've actually never seen or tried on a transfer proof lipstick in a bullet form. I always use a liquid lipstick so I've never seen anything like this so I'm very excited to try them. This guys retails for 52 Canadian dollars each which is on the pricier side. It comes in this black matte container with a CD initial and the lipstick itself is very slim compared to what I'm used to but since it's slimmer, it gives a better application and prevents you from applying outside the lines of your lips. So in this video, I'll be reviewing and swatching these four shades. They're all nude shades. They actually have five nude shades in their collection, but the shade 300 has not been shipped yet. It's on its way. I can't wait, so I'm just going to swatch it on my YouTube shorts and update you on the description bar below. The first shade is the shade 100 Forever Nude Look. It's a very nude blue pink shade. I think it would suit light to medium skin tone, but if you have a deeper shade, then you need to have a darker lip liner underneath for this to work. Second shade is number 200 Forever Nude Touch. It's a warm brown nude, which I think is good as an everyday shade and can work for most skin tones. The third shade is a shade 400 Forever Nude Line. This is the darkest amongst the four. It has a purpley brown tint to it and it makes for a good fall lip shade. The last shade is the shade 505 Forever Sensual. This is giving me a Your Lips But Better shade. It looks similar to the shade 100 but this one has more tint to it. All of the Dior Transfer Proof Lipstick has a matte finish, but unlike other matte lipstick, this lipsticks actually apply very easily on your lips. It actually has that creamy texture upon application, so it would really just glide on very smoothly on your lips. There's no pulling or tugging compared to the usual matte lipsticks. I would still suggest though that if you have dry lips, make sure that you exfoliate your lips, make sure that you prep them well. Because like other matte lipstick, if you don't really prep your lips and you don't scrub your lips, it would really cling on to the texture of your lips. And if you have any dry skin on top of your lips, it would really accentuate that dryness. When it comes to it being transfer proof, I actually tested all the shades while swatching it on my lips. And the first time I tried it on with the shade 100, I thought that they're actually not transfer proof. But then it has a lot of transfer. And then I realized and read on their website that you actually have to set this lipsticks on your lips for at least three minutes and then it will become transfer proof. Because on initial application, it would still feel creamy on your lips but after three minutes oh yeah you actually would know when this lipsticks are ready and transfer proof already because on your initial application it would really still feel creamy on your lips like when you press your lips together it would still stick a little bit with each other but when it's set you can really feel like this powdery smooth feeling on your lips and when you press them together they don't stick anymore and it's very very comfortable on especially when it's set like it feels like i'm not wearing anything and my lips feel really smooth it feels like powdery smooth like I put powder on my lips smooth that's just the best way to describe it unlike other matte lipstick where you can really 
feel the tightness on your lips this one you can't really feel any tightness it's very comfortable on it's like not wearing anything and your lips feels really smooth also when I was testing and doing the transfer proof test I find that shade 100 and 505 are creamier than the rest of the shades so with those shades I had to wait for about eight minutes before it sets so if okay five minutes done oh it still has a transfer after five minutes i can still feel that creaminess in between my lips when i press them together so with this i think i need more time for it to settle so let's wait for about a minute more try it yeah no more transfers so if you buy a shade and you feel like it's very creamy and you can seem to make it transfer proof the key is to just wait for a little bit longer and let it set longer on your lips i know the instruction on the website says wait for three minutes but i find that five minutes is the sweet spot i find that at five minute mark my lipstick are all set and very transfer proof it has been five minutes yeah no transfers we're also going to do a water test. Yeah, it's pretty on. Even if I like lick my lips. It's really on. When it comes to wearability, this is how it looks like after an hour. I used to shade 505 and to me it looks a little deeper in comparison to what it looks like the first time I applied it on. And on the third hour, you can see the lines on my lips doesn't have any color anymore. And it's giving the illusion that I have very dry lips. At this time, I was also drinking water and eating fruits. On the sixth hour, I ate an oily noodles and the lipstick just broke down and melted. There's barely any tint left on my lips. There's something hugging like the sides of my lips, but most of it is gone. I think it could last longer had I not eaten oily foods. When it comes to removal, it can be easily removed with a micellar water. I did not feel any burn or stinging while swatching all of the shades and removing it from my lips. All the shades really felt great on the lips and very light on the lips. I wouldn't say that this feels hydrating on the lips or that it moisturized my lips. The best way I can describe it is just it's very light on the lips and it didn't dry out my lips. But I won't say that it add moisture on my lips or it hydrated my lips. I wanted to not like this lipsticks because they are 52 Canadian dollars each. But I have to say this lipsticks really perform very well and I'm giving them a 4 out of 5 stars. I love the shades that they are offering. It's very comfortable on the lips. It is truly transfer proof. I wouldn't say that it can last for 16 hours because in the third hour, I can see that the lines in between my lips doesn't have any color anymore. So I don't think that it would last you for 16 hours. And you really just have to be careful on what you're eating for it to really last long on your lips. But I don't mind reapplying because it's very comfortable on the lips. My favorite shades are the shades 200 and 505. I think the shade 200 will be a perfect shade for everyday use. And I think the shade 505 is perfect for bridal. If you don't know, I'm a bridal makeup artist and I'm always looking for a transfer proof lipstick, especially for my brides because the lip color is the first one to get removed from all of the kissing and from all of the eating and drinking. So I'm always in the hunt for a good transfer proof lipstick and I think that I found it. And I think that this Dior transfer proof lipstick will be a good choice for my brides. And I think that one of the shades will probably end up in my makeup kit for sure. So if you're looking for a transfer proof lipstick that is very comfortable on the lips, I think that you should really give this Dior transfer proof lipstick a try. Thank you so much guys for watching my video and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. And if you have any requests, lip swatches requests, just comment down in the description bar. I'll be happy to accommodate you as much as I can. Thank you so so much guys again for watching and I'll see you on my next one.